All right, so one of the guys, Eric, was one of the young men who works on the business with me, and he's in the sales department. He said, I'm going to bring a couple guys in tomorrow. I said, oh, of course. <clears throat> I, this is like, so it's Eric, Eric, excuse me, it's Michael Mojica, and this guy says his name is Joe Brown. Move into the microphone. All right. There's nobody named Joe Brown. <laughs> There's just I got no, a business partner named Joe Brown right I here. I know, you do. <laughs> and you're the last of the Mohicans. You told me that. No, yeah, that's a little brother. He's, my, he's the last of us. This is an amazing group of young guys, and you came up with this product, and you brought me one, and it's called the Kodiak. Right, yeah. It's a uh, survival bracelet paracord. The, the paracord itself is unique. We have it custom made uh, in New York. Uh, the inside has a has jute and it has a fishing line in addition to the seven strands cool, yeah. of, of nylon to give it its strength. Right. And then we put a, a ferro rod and a stainless steel striker on the buckle. So you can kind of generate fire. So you're talking so quick that everybody's going, what's he talking about? Oh, sorry. No, because you know your product. I do. But I have, I mean, the way I'm going, what's he talking about? This is a, it's a it's a bracelet. Right. It's a paracord survival yeah, bracelet. Yeah, we've seen these before, right? Right. Or, uh, Just a little uh, unique twist on it. Indeed. Go ahead. Oh, so, yeah. So what we did is we took the same design envelope and we just added more utility to it yeah. so we want ability to maybe start a fire catch some food eat some fish and so we put a a, a fishing hook in there yeah, you did and we put a couple strands of fishing line in there uh, inside the paracord you have this jute which is good fire tender so you want to take that apart and turn it into a bird's nest hey, and they, throw your spark uh, in i think it. i started a fire here in this stash. We no, did. No, was, <laughs> small fire we put it out no he worries said, he said on air guy, watch this. <laughs> <laughs> and he made a fire. And I mean, dude, you can't light a fire in a radio studio. So we just wanted the ability to like have an everyday carry bracelet on you that have can you, really help you, you out. Have either of the two of you ever read a book called One Second After? It's an Write it me. down. Write it down. We in Fortune, it's about what happens when there's an event and everything goes out the window. And now he's got a follow-up book entitled One Year After. But One Second After follows is a book you two have to read. I mean, I think everyone should read it, but... We'll do. You know, because it's he's a... He's getting ready to release a third one. Yeah, it's the third one. I, and he's the one I think I'm going to turn appear in that one. But you... What, what happens is, because this is what this is about, and we have some sponsors that are right along, and I want you to meet some people that we know that sponsor the show. Fantastic. But a um, little college town in the Carolinas, and there's, a, there's an EBT event, and every, the grid goes down. Um, everything melts, except for like old flathead Fords and old crank phones and, right. you know, and the um, and the coin of the realm becomes ammunition. And everything's about survival. And what happens in a modern world that we all live in when there is no more, no more, no food, you can't get any, can't feed anybody, can't do anything. What do people do? Right. And I think that a lot of times, um, especially in Colorado, I, you know, I love hiking some 14ers. Sure. We get ourselves in a pickle sometimes. Yeah. You know, like, man, if I only had this. And I yeah. just want to give everyone the opportunity. Like, if you get yourself in a situation, you can get yourself out oh. of the situation. Just I mean, that one opportunity. Yeah. This uh, is cool. I mean, it really works. Thank you. I'm going to, we have uh, machine gun tours, Alan Samuel. We have Wise Foods. There's a bunch of people, I think, that would really like something like this in a store. And uh, it's really well put together. Where are these things made? Um. We currently make them stateside. We're trying to figure out how to do it on a larger scale, so we're trying to push and do it overseas. No, the Paris will always be made stateside. Yeah, do that. Um, we yeah. keep it stateside. Yeah. I mean, I think made in the U.S. means a lot anymore. At least to me, it's a big deal, right? But it has. You can. The guy starts a fire in the studio, and uh, you guys are remarkable. Is there a website for this thing? Yes, outdoorelement.com. Then you have a little thing we're not going to talk about. But no, it so we fire. have a no. fire starting carabiner. You. you put it together, <laughs> fire beaner. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Um, we, I, and right I, now, I would just rename this product. So, I, right I, now we got on Kickstarter and that's why we're the, the great push. We're trying to get some good PR and let everyone know like, Hey, with this carabiner see this? that can really offer some utility. It a lot of people use carabiners for their keys. So hang their keys on and it. I have one. I, that's uh, why I carry right. my and keys so on one. This is, we're just replacing your standard carabiner to give you some more utility. Can open a, a bottle. No, has, I see that. I'm yeah. Saying, I have it has a, a little a knife on it yeah, and then I, it has I, a fire mechanism. I was given a knife by a, by a, by a police department because if I mention they'll get mad. But they have, they won't get mad, but other people get. But it has the the cutter to cut seat belts. And yes. Yeah. The other things. day I went to a yeah. junkyard and uh, made sure that it does go through a seat belt just fine. And it cuts right through. And this thing, you know, I have my my keys. You can see my keys are on the top of that bag there. And I I got them for skiing. I got them for my motorcycle. Um, I mean, I, those things are cool. I just use them all the time. Somebody once called them janitor keys. I said these are janitor <laughs> keys. Remember that janitor keys. So again, with a couple minutes left. Um, 
Joe Brown, who's the only guy in the world named Joe Brown. You ever get pulled over by the cops and tell them your name was Joe Brown? You're not. Cops going, what's your name? Joe Brown. Get out of the car. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you meet Joe Brown? Joe Brown's not Joe Brown, anyhow. Remember I told you that name change joke? That's what's going to happen to Joe Brown. Yeah. A mutual friend. I was looking for some uh, help at right. how to grow a business by trade. I'm an engineer. You're, you're mechanical I'm not a engineer, business right? Yes, sir. Yeah, mechanical, mechanical engineer. engineer. And a mutual friend put us together, and he started kind of helping me, mentoring me how to do a business, and then we ended up partnering up. We're talking off air. You're, you're oh. by ethnicity, an Apache. Yeah, yes. I think that's cool. I mean, I just told that book, Apache Wars, which was one of my favorite books of last year. How tough. You actually look at when you, you know, like I look at people and say, well, you know, and you do. You look the part. So, um, no, I mean, I imagine you're about half tough, but you say you're a climber also. Right. I, I love doing hikes. Yeah, I can see I that. I got a trip planned to Maroon Bells, uh, 28th. Better move. It's going to snow. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to supposed to snow up here this weekend. But so it's called Outdoor um, Element. Is that what this yes, your website? Yes, OutdoorElement.com. That's our website. That's our the name of okay. the company. And it's way cool. I mean, they can put your name on it. You've made one for me. It says my name on it. Right. Your name here. And it says your name here. Remember that? It's like, <laughs> but this thing is cool and, and good for you. Danny, look at this thing, man. I'm Dan Kappas. Look in the window. This is a cool thing to have. So people should have these. I have nothing else. Keep, you know, keep in the car. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Just always be prepared. Yeah. And it's simple. Yeah. You can always have it on you. Yeah, that's true. I mean, the world, the world is changing. I mean, this, now, now the Joe's an Eagle Scout. He's like, always be prepared. Joe Brown. Yeah, Joe Brown. <laughs> Eagle Scout. Right. <laughs> Joe Brown. Right. <laughs> Joe Brown. We got to talk, Joe. We got to talk about <laughs> some name changes here on his products. There's my music in the background. Thank you, son. Thanks hey, for coming in. Thanks for coming. Joe, thank you. And, and Michael, you're a good guy, man. Thanks. Appreciate it. Your dad did. Uh, we talked about your dad, too. Good for you, man. All right, everybody.